Welcome to this video on white box testing. White box testing is also known as structural testing. This is where you check that all the code in your program works correctly. This is different to checking whether it compiles. We're checking for runtime errors, logic errors, but not syntax. So what are the tactics used in white box testing? You have to create a list of test data and actions in such a way that every part of your program is checked. You don't just check normal values, but you assume that the user will put in extreme values, ones that don't make sense, and ones that are just perverse. Let's suppose that the user would like a quick utility to see how many letters there are in a name. If it's more than five characters, then the name should be shortened to five characters. The user would like to be able to enter a name and then be told the number of characters and the name after that check. Again, there are two tests, test actions and test data. So let's try the test actions first. Can the user enter a name? Is the user told how many characters the name contains? Is the name shortened when appropriate? And does the program close appropriately? What about test data? Well, we need some test data, and this is best provided in a table. The first column are the inputs that we're going to try. The next column are the things that we're going to click on. Uh, in my case, it's only an OK button, but it, your program may be much more complicated than that. In the third column, the methods should check every method in your program. In my case, there is only one method, method main, but that could be a, a very different in any program you write. And then we check the output expected. So if I enter Andy, I would expect the output to say Andy 4. If I put in Tabitha, Tabat 7. If I put in Molly, Molly 5. The program isn't clever enough to distinguish between names and anything else. So if I put in the name 2017, I'd expect 2017 and 4 to come out. And if I put in something that's not even a name at all, but something that is very close to my heart, chocolate cake should give me Choco 14. So, let's try these things. If the program survives the test actions and the test data, then it's passed the black box testing. It's time to try the program. Here we are in the programming environment. The programming language is irrelevant. What we're going to do is we're going to run the program with each of the test items. The first name we were going to try was Andy. If we click on the OK button, we find that Andy is four letters long. That's good. Let's try it again with the next item of data. If we try Tabitha, what we should get is something that says Tabat 7. Again, it seems to have worked. Let's try running this with the name Molly. Ah, Molly's fine, but we now have 27 characters. That's not so good. Let's try this with the name 2017. Uh, yep, 2017 and four characters. That's good. Finally, let's try it with my favourite chocolate cake and see what happens. And what we would expect is Choco and 14, and that's what we get. So that test seems to have worked. What we do is we put all these test results back into our table. So let's go back to that table. 
A problem found is a job saved. You're still employed, and that's got to be a good thing. Doesn't matter if there are problems in your code. It really doesn't matter at all. Forget what you were told before. What matters is that you find the errors and not somebody else. You can then pretend you had it right all along. So let's have a look at the completed test plan. Here's the new version of the test plan. It says that in that final column we got Andy 4, Tabat 7, Molly 27, 2017 4 and Choco 14. But there was that problem. Molly created an error. And that's something that we'd have to check in our program to see why that sort of name gave an error. So our plan has worked. A plan works if you find the errors. Not finding the errors is a fail. We can then correct the error, run the test again, because changing one thing might affect something that worked before, and then we can sit back and smile. Thank you for watching.